All right, well, maybe we'll have enough time to finish the, the last part here. We also wanted to find the heat absorbed from A to B. Okay. Um. Or maybe we won't. We'll see. So we don't have any special formula that's going to tell us what the heat is along this line. However, there, there's basically three thermodynamic variables that we've been working with. Delta U, Q, and W. Uh, what's the relationship between these? Delta U is equal to um, Q minus work by. Very good. Now, what do we know? What's the question asking us for? It's asking us for the heat. Mm -hmm. Well, what do we already know? Well, in the previous part of the problem, we already figured this out. So, since we don't have a special formula for Q, maybe we could figure out delta U. Now, again, this is not a special process, so we can't use any special formula for delta U. But last time when we were working, we said there was one formula that you can use for any process for delta U. You might want to look that up or, uh, or look in your memory or wherever to see what was that formula that we said always works for delta U. Delta U equals There we go. Okay. Well, now if we could just figure this out, then we'd be able to go here and find Q. Right. So we still have one or two obstacles, but let, let's try to work on that. Let's try plugging in here. I guess I forgot to put on the board. The they interest. must have told us at, where did I have that information? Oh, uh, no, they didn't tell us that. Okay, yeah, they didn't tell us N. All they told us is that it's a diatomic gas. Okay, so how do we, doesn't that mean that we have also delta T and delta U as variables? Yeah, that seems like the problem. However, and now we can use a trick we did talk a little bit about last time. Where, what, what other equation do we know that has an N and a T in it? PV equals NRT. And we have both of the PVs. Right. Now this is the uh, equation for the ideal gas law in terms of levels. That won't quite help us because we need it in terms of changes. Oh, okay. So we have to change the it, it should be pretty straightforward to see that if this tells us the levels, these would tell us the changes. Mm -hmm. There isn't going to be any change in N or R, so we can pull that out of the delta, so to yeah. speak. But basically we're saying that since the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, the change in the left should equal the change in the right. And that gives us a way to figure out delta U here, because as we mentioned last time, our diagrams do give us P and V. Yeah. So let's go, how, how would we deal with that? Let's work that out. We'll set delta U equal to um, CV times delta P. That's right, so we've just uh, solved this equation. What did you solve it for? You solved it for n delta t. That's right, if you solve this for n delta t, this is what you get. Good? Um, okay, and then we'll find uh, delta p v. That's right. Let's go ahead and work that out on paper. Okay. You have your calculator? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so this is the test where you're expected to use calculators. You can use that when you need it. On the final, really? No, I mean um, the problem I took this from. This is from oh, a, a, okay. an exam that you just so that I, the, the numbers are not set up to be easy to work with. What are you looking for? 
Um, good. C. Very good. And it's diatomic. Right. Good. So we learned earlier the diatomic gas CV would be 5 halves R. Mm -hmm. So when you're calculating PV, you had, there might be a problem with that. So the change in PV is going to be P final, V final, minus P initial, V initial. So it looks like you put in the right numbers. 1.5 atmospheres times 4 cubic meters minus Two cubic meters times one atmosphere. Now, what units would we expect this to come out in? Oh, um, oh that's not, I'm sorry, that's not such an easy question, actually. But anyway, the point is. It does not matter because it's a, a change in, like a delta? That's only true for delta t. Oh, for delta T. Remember that because the point is the change in temperature is the same in Kelvins and Celsius. However, um, that doesn't apply here. Um, here uh, for other things, uh, we do have to make adjustments. So basically, one of our units here is not standard and has to be adjusted. Okay. This is pretty typical of the problems you'll see on the test. They usually give you atmospheres and you oftentimes have to change them. Okay. So what, how will we do that? Um, so this So are we multiplying or dividing by 1.01? Um, multiply. Right. So there's 1.01 1 .01 yeah. times 10 to the fifth pascals in an atmosphere. And now the atmospheres would cancel. What did you get from that? So it's 1.5 times 10 to the fifth? Oh, is what you get? That, is that that's, your oh, that's the, the new. Um, I mean, sorry. Yeah, 1.01 1 .01 times 10 to the fifth uh, pascals through atmos per atmosphere. What are the units on that? Our joules. Good. And uh, so you canceled out the R's? Mm -hmm. Right. So notice that on this problem, we talked about this a little last time, they didn't give us R and we didn't need R because uh, the R's canceled. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. So now what? plug that into this formula, so we can go ahead and do that. So you're saying the R value, is that different? That's different for all different gases, like each gas has its own. Well, do, do you remember what the name of R is? R is the universal gas constant. Oh. Remember that it comes from... 
It is always 8.31. It is. It is. That's, what the, uh, that's what the meaning of the term universal is. It's called the universal gas constant because it works for any ideal gas. Okay. Any ideal gas is going to have the same uh, gas constant. That's kind of what makes them ideal. Okay. Liquids and solids tend to be different properties for different elements or molecules, but all ideal gases behave the same way. Right. Um, so it's always 8.31. That's right. However, um, your, your instructor doesn't expect you to have that memorized. So if they don't give you R on the problem, there must be a way to solve the problem without plugging that in. If you needed R, they would give you that in the problem.